The diagnosis of Moya Moya disease is an interesting one to be able to make on imaging. Um, I think once you become familiar with the findings, it's a relatively straightforward diagnosis to make. Moya Moya is an uncommon disease, and so a lot of uh, neuroradiologists or pediatric radiologists are not familiar with the disorder, and so they don't know the findings to look for. But once you do appreciate that there are certain findings that you see recurrently in these patients, they're fairly easy to spot. So we look for areas of infarction or stroke, uh, in particular vascular territories or between vascular territories. And once we see those, we look very specifically at the blood vessels around the base of the brain to see whether they have the typical changes we expect to see with Moya Moya. In addition, we look on MR for areas of slow flow in leptomeningeal vessels that allow us to say that in fact there are collateral vessels that have developed through the leptomeninges. And so those features together can make us relatively confident that we're dealing with a case of Moya Moya. In most instances, we go on to perform some sort of vascular imaging with either MR angiography or occasionally CT angiography, and almost always that's definitive for the diagnosis. Uh, but in terms of preoperative planning, I uh, usually will go on to conventional angiography to look both at the intracranial vessels and to look at the external vascular anatomy.